Hey everybody, doing a little experiment with my heat pot cooler. It's a Sunbeam Silent Whisper. With has been modified, has been relapped with sandpaper and stuff. And the processor is a stock AMD Phenom 2 Quad Core 905E, which is the coolest. Which is the coolest running Quad Core Phenom 2. And as you may see, I have a pencil stabbed into the fan, making it stall out been like this for about five minutes now yeah probably five minutes at least this heat pot cooler is passive cooling the CPU keeping it within the hotter hot limit right now you'll see our processor is at 58 degrees Celsius and we're doing video conversions with Zillisoft all four cores maxed out converting high definition video this is the video converter ultimate and our processor is just sitting here at 58 degrees Celsius and I can come I can actually touch this cooler and it is quite hot to the touch these coolers stock have an issue because they're really cheap coolers I mean I only paid like $14 for this thing brand new back in 2008 and these coolers have a cheap construction, so the bottom, the bases of them aren't normally smoothed out perfect enough. So you have to relap them to get the best performance out of them. But now, as you see, this heat pipe core is passive cooling this processor. Which I do have plans of soon upgrading the mid-tower deluxe to a AM3 motherboard with DDR3 memory and a Phenom 2 965 Black Edition. We're at 59 degrees Celsius, it'll drop back down to 58, so it is just sitting sitting there at 58 degrees Celsius. I'm going to go ahead and back off the camera a little bit as I'm doing my math homework, along with the video conversions. Let's go sit here and watch the clock and the CPU temperature. Now I have the camera set in front of the clock and the processor temperature, which is 60 degrees Celsius. Go ahead and open the window because it's quite hot in here. I'm guessing 79, 80 degrees ambient temperature in the room, plus the heat of inside the computer itself. This thing just keeps sitting at around 58 to 60 degrees. We'll go, go ahead and get some cool air in here. And I can touch the heat pipe core, and it is quite hot to the touch. But it's just amazing though that this thing is past the cooling the processor. As the cool air begins to come in, you may, you may see the processor temperature drop a little bit. Now remove the pencil from the fan, go ahead and watch the temperature fall.